It's not easy being a princess, but you wouldn't know it by judging Catherine's hairstyles. The Princess of Wales somehow manages to make the simplest hairdos look runway. Ready. Granted, she has the healthiest hair we've ever seen, resulting in the bounciest waves. From bouncy blowouts to perfect ponytails, the princess is known for her luscious locks. In recent days, fans are surprised by the latest photos with Catherine that have surfaced online. Although I'm not very fan of AI photos, these portraits of Princess Catherine in different hairstyles have caught my attention. The wife of Prince William of Wales has remained faithful to the same haircut for years. It seems to be the perfect hairstyle for her. But fans have long wondered what Princess Catherine would look like with short hair. Royal fans were quick to disagree with her short hair, writing that, Oh no, so much better with long hair. I've always loved her own long, beautiful hair. For me, because whether she is rocking loose waves or bangs, the princess has a good hair day. Every day. Last week, the Princess of Wales channeled her inner sporty spice with a slick side ponytail in showing off her athletic prowess at an engagement in Hull. Departing from her usual corporate aesthetic, the wife of Prince William switched up her smart and sophisticated style for the league's navy training kit and a pair of white trainers. The princess arrived with her brunette tresses tumbling past her shoulders in perfectly coiled curls before effortlessly sweeping up her mane into a neat side ponytail. She accentuated her sporty spice-inspired hairstyle with the addition of delicate gold hoops, adding a dark mascara and liner to accentuate her natural features. The Mother of Three's new 70s style haircut proved popular amongst royal style fans when she first debuted her It Girl chop last month. During the Mother of Three's outing, her luscious brunette locks were swept into a bouncy curled style as she elevated her natural beauty with her usual combo of a peachy blush, golden bronzer, and defined fluffy brows. There's no denying that Princess Catherine's hair is, quite literally, a main worthy of a Disney princess. The royal's luscious brunette locks have long been a topic of conversation of royal fans who can't quite determine whether the mother of three uses hair extensions to accentuate her naturally thick and glossy mane. Princess Catherine has an annual haircut around this time of year, taking away some of her thick hair's length before the weather improves. It's also the time of year when she traditionally goes a little lighter with her hair color, adding some carefully placed dark blonde highlights. What we love about her look is that she always goes for a natural finish and never looks too done or overloaded with product. And here's the real question. What does it take to pull off a Catherine hairdo that lasts all day? In fact, Catherine's hairstylist Amanda Cook Tucker revealed in a now-deleted Instagram post exactly what she packed when she accompanied the princess on her tour of Norway and Sweden. And though the picture featured 13 hairbrushes, two kinds of curlers, and at least a couple of blow dryers. It had only seven hair products, two are drugstore, which is honestly a lot less than we imagined. A source told us that Catherine not only took a stab at dyeing her tresses during lockdown, but she also frequently gave her children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, trims. She does use a home collar on it from Richard. She would normally be given products from his salon between her appointments with him. But for this lockdown, the package was rather larger than usual. It's clear she did a stand-up job as her hair has looked more beautiful and bouncier than ever. Regardless of the length or hue, the princess always looks polished to perfection. Not a split end in sight.